Hi there, everybody. It is I, Random Robin, and we are back with Minute of Islands. So last time, we went to the island of... Hema? Hema. Yeah, Hema, and met our sister, Mutie. And let's just say things didn't go well. Now we are here in the island of Lusa to do the air purifiers. Then we will go back to Hema to awaken the second brother, Bergan. But for now, we must explore this island. So we're going to take a look around. Let's see what we find here. Oh. I don't know why they give me those options to like go in those little caves. They just don't do anything for me. Wait. Hit. Okay. Let's take a look around. Always got to take a look around. This game, this game welcomes exploration. But only so much of it. Like, it is pretty linear so far. But it does allow for some stuff. There you go. Before she left, the lightkeeper's wife loved to paint. Mom ah. always admired her skill. Her things were left behind in haste, and he never touched them since. Damn, why is the guy here? So is there a person here? A can full of ashes and smoke cigarettes. Okay. Mom can see Hyma from here. Hyma. She wonders if the lights are on in their tiny house. Yeah, so Hyma's where her sister Miri lives. And uh, they aren't too happy with each other. Because Mo has kind of become autonomous in her need to like keep the monsters running. And Miri just wants to see her family back. Handmade pottery. Cool. Hip. Yeah, like Mo has gone full like only do job. Screw everything else. The gate to the lighthouse. As oh, it's I locked. As can remember... The lightkeeper was always on duty, saving sailors from the sharp rocks surrounding these islands. Doesn't look like he's on duty lately. But since the great exodus, he has been drowning. Ah. Touching glasses with whatever phantoms are left at that watering hole. Ah. So obviously after bad times happened, the guy just stopped doing. Yeah, I can't do this yet. Okay. Okay. So, also, I hope everyone's doing good today, staying healthy and safe, and having a good day in general. Get out of here, you crazy bird. <laughs> Sorry, just rocking out to the music, you know what I'm saying? Alright, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna go do a thing. Electricity stolen from the networks below. Oh, is he like harvesting my power? Or calm down with that dude. Wait, hang on, there's a cave right there. How do I. Let me, let me back in. Wait, yeah, how do I get back up there? Hold up. Let me just check something real quick. That looks like a little cave right over here. Nope, okay. You kind of have to, like, check the little caves, because they seem to always have something for Mo to, like, remember. Remember who you are, Simba. There we go. Yep. Yeah. A steep slope awaits inside the cave. Mm -hmm. Its ground was a friendly acquaintance to many drunk patrons. <laughs> Maybe we should have fenced that off. <laughs> that probably would have been good. Oh my god. Seaberry wine from our uncle's factory. The pickles were popular with visitors. Hey, crab. Hello, little crabs. Oh, hey, thing. Yeah. That's what we came here for. Alright, wake in the penis machine. Alright, so we saw these things already. These are what I'm here to do. There we go. When Hyma's air is cleansed, and Miri has come to her senses, Mo will have some stew. Mm-hmm. 
So now I need to get it to where Bergen can breathe again. But I need to find the lighthouse master to get his ass to give me the key. So like I said, I'm hoping to get this island done in this video. Like basically we will have Bergen up and running by the end of today, if possible. We'll see though. If at the very least, if I can get the island ready, then that's good enough. I'll take what I can get. But, because I'm guessing I won't have to suffer the same issues as the first island. Like, I think the remaining ones probably won't be as much of the same. Where's the guy? Book, uh, books about music, history, and foreign shores. Oh, okay. So this is supposed to be a bar of some kind. Hey there, dude. She remembers playing with his son, how they would swim between the rocks, how his wife would bring them inside and warm them up with a bowl of soup and her smile. More wonders if he remembers too. Somehow I'm going to doubt this. Only a ghostly murmur from under his mask and a ghastly stench. Can I take his key? key? Glimmering in his satchel. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, we got the key. Uh, Alright, peace, dude. <laughs> I'm out. Wait, how do I how do I exit? Okay, there we go. <laughs> the way this game is like not quite 3D, it's hard to know where the hell to go. Alright, but now I know where I'm going. Let's go. So it's going to be the same for every island. There's going to be someone with a key. I have to deal with the fog. And I wake up a giant. And odds are meet someone that the character Mo knows by, you know, by memory. So. So it's, it's kind of, it's going to be kind of a rinse and repeat thing, but with different looking islands and stuff. Gotcha. I was wondering how this was going to go, because I wasn't sure... Also, you like my elite parkour skills right there? Yo. I know me some parkour, you know what I'm saying? Hey, can I remember... Why does this feel like a thing I should be able to remember? Nope, okay. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. I think I missed something nearby, but I'm knowing this is where I need to go to get the next thing, so. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming the thing is right over here somewhere. It is all the way up there. Oh, it's is, is it what powers the lighthouse? Are you kidding me? All right, let's go check that out. This looks safe. That looks safe. Something's gonna get me murdered up here. I can tell. Either that or it's just gonna be a long climb upward. Ooh, a lizard. I love lizards. Another lizard. Okay, so there's going to be some puzzles in here, obviously. Alright. Oh, wait. God damn it. Too big for one man to fill alone, a gaping maw, slowly devouring both man and lighthouse. And still, mm -hmm. he stubbornly refuses to accept anyone's help. Mm-hmm. That sounds familiar. So how do I...
That sounds all not healthy. Skillful drawings and paintings. Okay. I'm gonna take a gander around real quick. Nothing. Okay. Okay, here we go. Woo! Did it. Alright, let's keep going. Did I want to stop that there? I think yes. Because I think they're going to balance each other out and then make a bridge for me. Alright, hang on. Oh, they're not? Well, then what the hell's the point? Well, I clearly was meant to put that on there for some reason. I mean, I could always push it further. Nope, okay. So, that's where that needs to be. Okay. No way it was just meant for that, because I was doing that without it. <laughs> What the hell's the point of it then? Oh wait, no, I want it off of there over here somewhere. Where do I want to do with this thing? Do I want to move it further? Oh, I think I just needed it out of the way. Yeah, I, I, oh, wait a minute, that's going to do something else now. Okay. Bit of a puzzle. Yeah, why, though? I guess it helps me get up quicker now, but... Not really, I guess. Okay. I don't, I don't know what that did for me, exactly. Oh, wait. Now the bridge is more accessible. Okay, hang on. Hit. There we go. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh! Oh! A barb of nostalgia sharply tugs at Moore's heart. Huh. I forgot how much I missed the sky and stars. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, she likes to spend her days underground, so she doesn't really see those anymore. Okay, up we get. Another one? Jeez. His wife wouldn't risk losing the boy to the blight, but he decided to remain this island's lightkeeper, unable to bear losing what purpose he thought he had. Mm. So they set sail without a father. Damn. So, so there's people still alive in the world, they're just not here. And for some reason, only these select few people stayed on these islands because of one reason or another. Okay, penis machine, here we go. And I see the problem over there. Get the hell out the way. Alright, we did it. Oh, but time to spare. So I think we'll go back and visit. We'll go to Bergen's Island, but we won't actually do anything yet. We'll save that for next time. Okay, now we get to go to Hema. So what if I... Can I jump off? 
Hey, I'm, I'm curious, can I just jump off? No, okay. All right, cool. We can go now wake up Bergan, but I assume it's gonna be more effort than the previous one, so. I do like that Mo uses her little cape as a parachute. Wee! Saves a lot of climbing. Yeah, what happens when this thing caves in, though? Because that thing is sitting at the top of this thing, so... What happens when the lighthouse caves in? Oh, hello. A gentle vertigo crawls over Moore's body. The satisfying tingle of light danger. Uh -huh. One of her favorite sensations. Ah. Okay. So there's still two more memories on this island that I missed. Maybe I... I think I know which path I need to take, so... But we are officially done with Lusa. We can leave here now and be okay, but... Since I have some spare time, I might try to look around a bit more. Because I know I missed a couple things. Okay, we don't need to go back down... Okay, let me go down here. Something down this way. Or was it? No, it wasn't this way. No, we were done after that. So, yeah, we're good. I don't know what else I would need to go look at, so. Yeah, I don't know what I missed. Yeah, because we're basically done now. So, we can, yeah, we can just hop off of here. Okay. So we'll go back to Hema. There we go. Moore takes in a final breath of Leusa's air. Leusa. Much better. She congratulates herself. Now your chickens can come back out, sister. Okay, we go back to Hema. Or Hema. Basically, we're going to go back to Hema and maybe we'll go look at Bergen. We'll see. And then we'll call it a day there. This was a lot quicker than I thought it would be, so I'm tempted to just fix Bergen now, but then I don't know. Ah, we'll still, let's see what we got. We got mm, a few more minutes. Maybe I'll try to find my way to Bergen at least, and then we'll she call it good. Expect gratitude from her sister. Or an oh, look, the little doggo! But Moore does expect to be welcomed home. Why do I feel like the sister's not going to be there this time? Also, a little dog creature seems to just be chilling. It's like an axolotl dog. That's cute. <laughs> I like him. Music's also baller, but then again, I'm not picky when it comes to music. I find music in a lot of games pretty baller. <laughs> okay, we're back at Hema, so we're gonna we're gonna look around Hema first, cause I want to see if I can spot the sister, cause she threatened to leave when I came back. So I'm curious if she'll be gone or not uh, this time around. Now the air is safe to breathe again. Miri must have calmed down. And gone to make sure that the stew is still warm. Food is always her way of apologizing. I feel like she's not going to be there, Mo. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think she might have meant her threat of bailing the hell out of there. Chapter 2, Bergan. Bergan's engine. So, we're officially at the point where we're going to wake up. So, every chapter is three parts. So, four, so 12 parts total in each chapter and then that's awoken giant so and each one being awoken makes the previous one able to handle more so whatever this weird fleshy engine is it seems very important or otherwise mo wouldn't be doing all this 
That is so gross, though. I'll never get over the boat. I don't like the boat. <laughs> I don't like that it has a giant penis on the back and that it has fleshy tentacles on the front. <laughs> Alright, let's go find the sister. Before we go check out Bergan's engine, because that's where we need to go, we're going to go check out the sister, because I want to see what happened. I want to see if this sister actually bailed out. We already looked at all that. I think we just make a beeline this way, yeah. Oh, it really won't let me go look? Okay, I guess I have to do that after then. Okay, so next time we'll have to go see what's up with the sister. For now, we're going to make our way to the engine. It seems like the game prevents you from actually going to visit the uh, family. Because it wants you to deal with the giants first. Which is to be expected, but you know. And now will not it'll officially not let me leave until I have repaired his engine. So But we are gonna do that next time. Bergan's muscles soon will power these engines again. It is his duty, and his duty alone, to keep the veil over Haima strong. More will make sure he honors it. Uh-huh. Find a way to reawaken Bergon so he can... Op okay. So, we're not going to go see Bergon this time. We're going to do that next time. Next time we'll all be all about waking up Bergon and getting his show on the road. So, with that, I hope you all enjoyed the show. If you like it, hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for games or just want to say hello, leave it in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, just as I mentioned last time, it would mean the world to me. And if I made your day better... Right on. And until next time, have a good one.